Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. Today we're going to do Pennywise. So the colours that you're going to need are red for his face and his hair and his buttons, uh, white and grey. Now I have used an off-brand grey, it's a, a DIY grey, I think it's not a particularly nice band and I have ended up having to empty the bag of bands into a plastic bag, like a little uh, court lunch sandwich bag thing, adding a few drops of oil, mineral oil, and um, that's loosened these right up and made them quite workable. They're not sort of sticky and tacky and they don't um, sort of clump together. So that's what I did to make these workable. Um, white Rainbow Loom brand, uh, and sorry, and black as well for his feet down here at the bottom. Okay, you're going to need uh, the 9mm toy safety eyes or you can just use uh, black bands again, so that's up to you. You're going to need a couple of stitch markers. Um, they always come in handy. I use this brand, but you can use a safety pin, bobby pin, um, paper clip, anything like that really. Two things that you're going to have to make beforehand is the clown head, the base clown head. I'm going to need you to make one of those. There is a tutorial for that and I will link that in the description of this of this um, tutorial. And you're going to need to make two arms, okay? And again, I will link the tutorial for the arms in the description of this video. For your arms, you're going to do a magic ring in white of eight. You're going to do two rounds of single crochet in white and then six rounds in grey and then you'll have your three little tie-off bands that we use to attach to the head. Um, what we're going to do first is work on the head. We're going to put an ear on. I put one ear this side. We're going to put another ear the other side. If you have a look at the way this head is, the way the base head is, it sort of goes in out a little bit and then in a little bit here before coming back out again. This is the area that we're going to be putting the uh, the ear in. As you can see, it's about, let's count the rows, one, two, three, four, it's sort of between row five and six. Okay, so we're going to go here, one, two, three, four, five, so between here and here I think is where we want we just want one so is this going to be the best place for me I think it might be we'll start with this we're going to need one band to go through and then six two three four five six so what we're going to do put your put your hook where you want this to work you're pulling your first band through and reclaiming like that okay now what we're going to do is grab another band and do a single crochet, all right? We're now gonna use the loop that we've made here, if you look, okay? That's where we're gonna do our stitches. So we're gonna put our hook back through that original band that we looped in, and we're going to do a single crochet, go back in again, a single crochet, and we're doing all six of our single crochets in this particular loop of band that we have here. Now it's a good time to do this because you need to tie it off inside the head. So once you've got your last single crochet you have your little loop that you're finishing on here and that's going to go here. So in the hole that you started with you've got your hole here that you started with and the hole here you're going to put your hook through, grab that end, all right, and pull it back inside the head. Now once inside the head, you need to be careful, you want to find a little loop here, inside a little white loop, and you're going to tie that end off inside your head, okay? Like so. Just so that that is secured. And there we have, you can pull it out, and there we have an ear. And you're going to do the same on the other side as well, so that you have two ears. I don't think they're going to be 100% lined up, but you can make it so that they are pretty well lined up. The next thing you're going to do is the eyes. Now you want the eyes to be 
let's count how many we have down here uh, one, two, three, four, it's sort of on row five, and you have one, two, three holes between them. So one, two, three, so row five is about here. And one, two, three, so I'm going to pop one eye. And again, you can move these. One, two, three, let's pop one eye here. And we'll see where the other eye goes. I think it's where I had my hook. Let's see if that looks right. To me that does look right. So that is where I'm going to put my eyes and to secure them in place I'm going to use the backing and I like to hear the click once. There we go and I'm going to do the same on the other one. There we go. We need to do a little nose. Now, just like we did with the poop, we have to do these lines down the face and they're probably the hardest part out of all of it. <laughs> but we, we can do that after or we can do it before, it really doesn't matter. But for the nose, we're just gonna do a little magic ring and we're gonna put five bands through. So this is band number one. One. Come on. two, three, four, you could do four, it doesn't matter. How many have I got here? Oh, I've got four, we'll do four. So this side is, is great for going through, but we still need to be able to tie it off. So what we're gonna do, our nose is gonna go from here to here. We're gonna put your hook through one side, pull that end loop through and go through the other side here. Now we're going to capture where our little nose is which is that first single crochet and we want to pull a band, a red band through, reclaim one over the other, we're pulling that through like so, okay? And these two bands are what we can tie off but I'm going to capture a little white band down here so that they're not too loose. So I'm going to pull that through and tie off. And that is how I did the little nose. Okay, And you can even pull that a little tighter to get that single crochet that we did there inside the white bands. I can come here. There we go. So that's now inside. All right. And that's how I did the nose. Now, <laughs> we're going to start. This is, as I said, the hardest part. You want to aim for where you're going to do, and we want to go down and down then it comes out a bit and then it forms this mouth it's going to take a little bit of jiggery pokery so this one starts a little bit off center as you can see so if this is here this is probably our off center or even here okay and it's going to take trial and error I'm I'm sorry about that you're wanting to go through and one over the other and then come down into the next one, go through both, reclaim, one over the other. Now I actually, at this point, spread this band over and captured the eye like so. I captured that like that and left it hooked around the eye. And then I picked up under the eye on the other side. So one over the other. And it is easier to do it um, prior to stuffing when you can actually get uh, access to the inside of the doll's head. It is a little easier. Again, I put it over the eye like so. 
and stretch them out a bit if you need to. If it's come a bit tight, you can sort of pick up the slack a little bit and stretch it just a tiny bit. See how there's that slack? So you can kind of even that out so it's not pulling on one or the other. So that's how I did that bit. And then you need to come down, and we're coming down almost at this angle. All right. So at this stage, you need to pull and get under the eye. There we go. So we're coming out. And the amount of times that I unpicked <laughs> and redid it was silly to just get it right. You're wanting to come out so that it looks like it's going around his cheeks. See? like so and then this is the bottom of his lip And we want to come out this way as well. So let's make sure we're following the same lines on this side of the face as we did the other side. So I think it's wanting to come down here. So I'm going to go up this one. And actually, I've probably gone one, one too far. I probably want to come down this way here. So I'm going to back out. Keep that hooked on. And come down this one. Let's see if I can get this one right. Would be nice. How does that look? It's kind of getting there, isn't it? I'm going to take my hook out and come in through the eye here. Now I want to go as close to the eye as I can, so I'm going here. I'm going to take that red band and pull it inside. And again, I'm going to look for, on the inside here, a white band that's close by, and I'm going to tie that together. so that that doesn't pop through to the front. Okay, so that's the bottom side of his mouth. Now I kind of need to do the lip where it comes across the top. Let's see if I can do that. So to do that, you need to basically go in where you already have a stitch. And if you go over the top, it's going to look a bit funny. It, it could look a bit funny. So you need to be careful. You, you need to decide if that's how you want it to look. I'm going to go around. Now, as you can see on this one, I did a double row at the a double stitch of this on the bottom. Oh, my nose is coming off. I think I need to secure my nose a bit tighter. <laughs> Marry up where this is going to happen. 
so it's about here so I think probably uh, don't come undone <laughs> there we go I'm going to so it's I'm like this what I'm going to do is go through that stitch so that it looks similar to the other side like so but I think I might try and come back down again this way and make that bottom lip thicker again it is up to you what you want yours to look like but I'm going to go around again to see if I can make this bottom lip just look thicker than the top I chose not to put fangs through it because when I did it just looked really odd it didn't look real good and that is my last stitch I believe so I'm going to go in here pull it through again look for a band a white band on the inside that I can secure that to and that is how I did the mouth I'm going to make this tighter that is not not happy with the the nose. Ah, I think it's a little too loose. I'm going to undo that. And I've picked up another band there, the red band of the nose to make it tighter. Let's see if that fixes things. It might. So that is how I did his face. As I said, it's up to you how you want to make his mouth. If you do the double line down the bottom, um, I'm trying to even these stitches out a bit so that one is not pulled tighter than the other. You can see this one here looks a little looser than this one here. So that's how I did that. Now we're going to move to the grey bands and what we're going to do is we have six rounds. One, two, three, four, five and six. We have six rounds. Four rounds are for the shirt, two rounds are for the pants. Well we're doing ours in all the same colour so it really doesn't matter. Now because we're doing um, a, a tiny tot uh, with legs these are just all single crochet there's no single crochet increase there's no single crochet decrease it's just single crochet so for our head we finish on this stitch we go into our first stitch and we do a slip stitch because we're changing colour move your stitch marker onto that first stitch and we will go around doing six rounds of single crochet. I will catch you back. Whoopsie, let's pick that one up so we don't add that to our count. There we go. I will catch you back when we have done six rounds of single crochet. And then we will be adding our arms on. So please make sure that you have made those. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is a tutorial for them and I will link that in the description of this video. I will see you when we have done six rounds single crochet in grey. So I've done my six rounds of grey and I have put my little stitch marker here. It's collecting my, it's on my first stitch as normal but I've just collected my last stitch there as well. I'm going to put the arms on. You want the arms to line up with the ear so I've done the middle 
band in line with the ear. So on the other side we'll do this one together. Again the middle band is going to go in line with the ear. So let's put our hook through and go into this space here because this one is going to be for the ear. We'll take our second arm, we'll do this one together. Oopsie, make sure that these don't unravel because they're your tie off loops. So we're going to get the hair out the way and pull the first loop through and go into the next spot, grab the second loop, go into the third spot, grab the third loop and then twist this inside out. There we go. We're going to take the third loop off, hold it, one over the other for the first two, one over the other for the second and third, go through one of these little inside loops and I'm grabbing a white band and I'm going to tie that off securely like so. If you find you've put it in the wrong spot, move, move it, it's fine, you can just move it. Okay. As I said before, if you feel his mouth is a little bit wonky, you take your time to make it look right for you. Sometimes just pulling the bands will, will do the job. Now the next thing we want to do is the ruffle around his neck. Okay, I'm going to go and start from the back. And I'm starting from the back so that it's hidden where I start. So I'm going through the back here. I'm going to pull one band and keep it on my hook and chain another. All right, I'm going into the next. Actually, I'm going to chain two. So you have one, two, and three. Now I'm going into the next one. Again, make sure the hair is out of the way. Pull through so it's through all the loops and you basically started again with one band. And you're going to chain one and chain two. Go to the next loop. Do the same, pull one band through, all of that, chain another, and another, and we're going all the way around doing this. Oh, nice broken band there, let's get that one out of the way. Thank you very much. One, two, three and through the next one. Now be a little careful when you see this, you want to push it so that you just have those two little bands there. One, two and three. There we go. See how I pull those out so that's where the band will sit. One, two, three, into the next one, one, two, three, one, two, Make sure that the arm is under where you're doing this. One, two, three, Grab an extra loop. <laughs> One, 
two, three. Now this is where we started. So I'm going in here and I'm going to pull that through. Now I'm going around again, okay? And I'm going to do only two this time. So pull it through, one, and two, and one. Oh, another broken band, and two. Just make sure you can see where you're going. This is to make the ruffle a double ruffle. And now I'm back at the beginning and I'm going to tie off. So I'm going to go one and tie that off. And I'm going to push my hook through and drag that tie off band back inside like so. And find a band to attach it to. And it can be any band inside really. I've found another and another tie off band I've got here and it can be tied off with that because at the end of the day it's not going to pull through so you tie that off like so and that is how I did the double ruffle okay make it a bit rufflier now around the top here you're going to want to on the arms come down one and two so about here and I like to start underneath. So if you're looking underneath, you're going to see that you've got your two little lines here. So that's one and two. So about here is where I'm going to do the same sort of ruffle, just the two. Okay, so you go through one, two, and then go to the next one. Pull it through. One and two and then to the next one we're doing this all the way around on both arms and we're going to do it around the wrists as well so on the line where we have the white we're going to do that as well so I will meet you back when we have done that and again you will tie off well we'll do this one and then we'll do the other three independently so around we go Now, because you're working in a continuous round, you want to be careful with your round that you finish and start at the same place. So you might have to just sort of go through and not follow the round completely. See how I've got a little jig, jig jag there, zigzag. Pull that through. I'm going to attach here, like so, and I'll tie off like that. 
that and I'm going to push my hook through and I'm going to push it into the arm and grab that tie off band and pull it through like so okay and that's how we're going to do the other arm and around the wrist so when we're back we will have done all of our ruffles around the arms and the wrists I'll meet you back when we've done that together okay so we've done his little ruffles at the wrists and at the arms here now what we're going to do is a couple of buttons we're just going to do two little buttons here and what I've done I've taken I'm using red bands okay you take one wrap it once twice and three times so you have four loops okay and you're going to slide that onto a red band now what we have to do is line up in the center now I think that's a pretty good one there and this is probably a good one here so we're going to go poke our hook through the top pull the band through and come back out where we want it to be like so and then back here at the back we're going to just tie off tie those two little bands together like so okay and that's how we're doing the uh, the buttons so once twice three times whoopsie three times we want four loops there we go slide onto a red band and that's the last of our red bands I believe and again you're going to go find a spot now to keep it in line you might have to go through the center like split that band in two come through and go down like so you can do that you don't have to just go where the holes already are you can force your hook through and make a hole which is what I just did then so that we have it in line okay so that's uh, that is the buttons now what we do we're going to pick up our last stitch here all right and what we have to do is get to the center here which is another one two and three stitches so we're going to single crochet one two and three okay now our third one is going to be a slip stitch slip it whoopsie let me do that again I got a bit a bit over enthusiastic there slip it through add the loop on and reclaim okay what we're going to do is chain another three one two and three pinch that you're going to find the corresponding spot at the front here okay now it might be slightly off we want to basically have seven I think it's seven stitches one side eight stitches the next but we'll try our best so one two three four five six seven that's eight one two three four five six seven that's eight so we want it to sort of be as evenly split as we can okay so let's go through here and we're going to pop one side of the loop of our band and we're going to pull it through and then we'll collect the other side here go one over the other all right and we will pop our stitch marker on this and let's just count that we have enough stitches either side we could almost let's see one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight so we could do that or we could go into this one so let's see how we go with that let's undo because you want it to be even and we'll take those three out so on this one we need to take the slip stitch off and do another single crochet single crochet and then in this one we'll do a slip stitch with three chains so here we go here's a slip stitch and we'll chain one two and three pinch let's see if we're better here now where's the middle
take the bottom loop through and let's count this one let's see if this is better one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven i think it does look a little better though all right so making sure that your hook has this loop on you're going to go through the first stitch here all right and we're going to do a single crochet and we're going to put our stitch marker this is our beginning okay and we're going to do three rounds and one in black all right so three rounds in gray and one in black there we go so i'm going to get counting here so this is our first round and what we do is we go down the center where we did those chains for each leg. Now on this center one, if you have a look, you've got these two bands going this way, you've got the two going this way, we're going to go into these two here, because we're splitting this into legs. And then we're going, if you see, you've got two this side and two this side, we're going this side only. Alright, the other side we're leaving. And we're going to do a single crochet here. And the same for the next stitch, we're going through these two on our side, we'll leave the other two on the other side to do the other leg. And then we're back to the beginning here. Now let's count how many stitches we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we want twelve, so we're going to go into here, okay, and do twelve. Then we're back to the beginning, and we start our second round so this is one and the first one is always harder the first round of these is always harder two three four Eleven and twelve, and our last round in grey. Change your stitch marker, that's number one. You need to split up eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we're changing to black, so it's a slip stitch. 
into black. Come on, there we go. Slip stitch, put your stitch marker on, and around we go using black bands. I just had to vacuum up under my desk because I dropped a band and I, I can't find it. I'm terrified my one of my cats will find it and eat it and get it stuck around their tongue or something. I have nightmares about that. Now, at this stage, please note we haven't stuffed. And I tend to stuff through the legs when I'm doing these. I stuff a bit earlier when I'm doing the ones with the princess dress or the, you know, the little dress, not the legs. But uh, when I do these ones, I like to stuff through the legs because the legs are fiddly. <laughs> And this is our last black band. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that last stitch on my stitch marker with the first stitch. Okay, so that is how I'm going to be leaving that for now. Now, if you want to go through this one already and, and stuff the head, um, we can do that. It's, it's probably a little easier. Um, as you know, I use the polyfill fiber for stuffing. It's nice and soft but you don't have to. Um, I've had some people using tissues, cotton wool, um, old pieces of yarn, um, old t-shirt material. I think I've told you all the funniest story where one lady was taking stuffing out of her husband's pillow you didn't even notice. Make sure you don't overstuff, but make sure that you do have shape. Okay, so I have shaped his head. I have not stuffed his body. I'm going to do that through the legs um, when I have completed this little leg here. So again, we want three rounds of silver and one of black. I like to start my round at the back because the stitch goes in the same direction then. Oh, I've got bits of fiber. So, starting right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll start right in this spot here, okay? I'm gonna take a band. One over the other, and I'm gonna put a stitch marker on it. So that marks our beginning and so our next stitch is right here. And we have to try and make it so that we have 12. So this is two. Three. Eight. Now have a look here. Okay, this this band here is where we want to go. Nine. Ten. Through those two. Eleven. And this one is twelve. We're back to our first stitch, so go through and our second round. Do a single crochet and add your stitch marker to that. And around we go for our second round. So make sure you go in each stitch.
you don't want to miss a stitch. There we go. And next round, move our stitch marker. two bands there. And now we change to black. So do a slip stitch. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And this last one here is twelve. Again. Open your stitch marker and pop that little stitch on. At this stage, we're going to want to stuff, okay? We're going to want to stuff our little guy and um, make sure that it's not coming out of the bottom of his feet, but we do want him to be stuffed. So let's get our stuffing. And this, this really doesn't take too much stuffing at all. Buy some more stuffing soon. Okay, so I think that I have stuffed that enough. I can feel that the stuffing is in. It's not overstuffed. I don't want him to have a big protruding tummy. I might do a tiny bit more. Just to fill the, the legs, but again, I don't want my stuffing to um, get in the way of my stitches on the feet because this is a fiddly little area. The feet is a fiddly little area. The feet are, the feet is, the feet are. The feet are a fiddly little area. Okay, we're gonna do one at a time, obviously. 
we're going to pick up one of our stitches and we're doing an inside post okay so we're going through and we need to find the inside the inside post and go through and we want to go on the inside like so okay I'm just going to leave that stitch marker there we're going all the way around Make sure you get each one. We've changed the lights in my uh, study here and it's so difficult to see. I don't think it's as bright as it used to be. Alright, so I've gone all the way around on the inside post. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get rid of that is I want to collect all of the top loops. So this top loop here and the top loop of the next stitch and the next one. I'd like to collect as many as I can. Okay. And put them on my hook. And you really want 12 of them. But if you can't collect 12 at one time, collect however many you can pull your first but your, your band through and onto the stitch that you're doing that you were holding you're going to get a stitch marker and you're going to put it on the side where your hook is holding on all right and let go so you've got all of those loops on this band here you're now going to collect the next ones so we've gone through that one our next one is here so put your hook through the loop and take the end pull it through it's like you're stitching with this one band and collecting all of these loops all of these top loops from the um, inside post collect them all up so that they're all on this one band as I said the lighting in here is atrocious <laughs> When you have collected all 12 on, I think I've got one more to do, which is right here. There we go. You're going to take the loop end that's on your stitch marker and the loop end that you're holding and you're going to connect them together with a single band and tie off. Take your stitch marker out the way and stretch this out. And it's almost like you've got a little magic ring there. It's a little bit different from how I used to do it. Push your hook through the back here. Grab that tie-off band and pull through. Just so that that tie-off band is hidden inside. So do you see? I, I think it's kind of hard for you to see. But it's almost like you have a magic ring in the centre here. Alright. And we're going to do the same on this side. Push your filling in stuffing let's collect up our last stitch we're going to be doing an inside post all the way around so one two Three, four, five, six, 
seven. Do I have 12? I do. I do not have 12. So what I'm going to do in these stitches, we can get rid of our, we're going through the top loop of each of those stitches that we just did. I can usually fit about seven on my hook that first time. Take a black band, pull it through and attach my stitch marker to this end. There we go. So I can let go of that now. And then I have to find the rest of these loops and pull my band through. Make sure you go through the top loop as you're working your way around. I have them all. Oh, one more. There we go. And let's grab the end of this one. There we go. There's the end of that one. And there's the beginning. Tie off band. Pull it tight. Take my stitch marker off, stretch this out so that it looks even. Go up through the back, through the center, grab that tie off band and pull it back so that the tie off band is hidden inside. All right, now he has ruffles around his waist here, and I do actually go down into like a little dip. So I go down into a dip and then up either side and he has white ruffles around the base of his shoes. So let's do that. Again, it is just the same as how we did the hair. I'm gonna start at the back, okay? But I wanna make sure this area here is gonna be covered, all right? So I'm gonna come around here. And so it's about at this level, all right? Just a couple of stitches above from the shoes. So one, two, and then find your next stitch. Pull your band through. Oh, completely through if you're me. Oh, let's do that again, Kate. One, two, Don't let go of the other side. <laughs> and we're going to do this all the way around until we get back to the back. Now, seeing I'm at the front here, I'm going to slightly come, so I could come along here, but I'm going to go slightly down at an angle. Just so that there's a little bit of distinction. Oopsie. 
hold through both. Then I'm coming across so it's only a tiny little bit that I've come down but then back up and you don't have to it's up to you Now I'm going straight around again. Now actually, if I have a look, because we've got the rounds, I could come down, I could stop it from looking uneven if I trace where I want this to be so if I bring this around I want it to be here so I'm going to I'm going to start coming in at this area and then I don't have a zigzag at the back This is the last one for here. Pull through. And now we're going to go through this first one and we're going to add them all in and tie off. And we need to go through the base here, like so, and pull that back inside the body. And you want this to be hidden inside okay like that now we need to do the same as we go around the um thanks coco around the feet here i'd start from the back and we're doing a ruffle around the feet so one and as you if you could notice i'm going through the gray band here the two little loops of gray I'm going to pop my hook through and we're going to do this all the way around as well. So I will meet you back when we've both done all the way around on both feet. And I'm going to get this cat off my desk while I do this. <laughs> so I've gone all the way around. He's got his little ruffles on his feet. He's got his little ruffles to indicate which is his jacket and which is his pants. Um, his little puffy, frilly shirt around the neck and around the arms. We've stuffed him. He's got ears. Fiddle around with the face to make it how you want. But basically, that is it. We are done. Oh, look, my original one. We've got uh, bands sticking out. Hide that. Make sure you do hide all your tie off bands it doesn't look very nice when they pop out the other way um you've got your funny little hair if you like the uh the tutorial like subscribe so that you can see when we do more um but this is pennywise i hope you enjoy take care bye everyone